Hi, in this video I'm going to cover the changes that we did in 3.2.0 and first I will start with the changes then I will go on the, the new models that we have done and the problem that we have fixed. Okay, so first thing that we did is verify the install. So now as soon as you logged in as an admin, you will be redirected to the admin to the system status page to check if the system is all okay. So you will be redirected to here. This is done because in most cases our support tickets are regarding SMTP not configured correctly or Stripe is not is used but it's used uh, test credentials and if you go to a dashboard if those are not set up correctly you will be redirected to that site only if you are an admin of course so with this we make the process of install more more easy and more robust the next thing that we're going to talk about is the specific css and javascript for the menu page so now if you go to site settings and uh, custom CSS and GS you will see that there is JavaScript for the menu and CSS for the menu so this CSS will appear only on the menu page before the front CSS was used on that uh, menu but we find out that this is not was not okay and somebody want to put front end on the landing page CSS on JavaScript but not on the menu and same for the JavaScript. So with these changes, we are covering that. Uh, one highly requested thing was modules per pricing plans, meaning that you want to limit your clients on what they will use. So now if you go to a plan, you on the bottom, you will see that you can select which plugins are available for the set for the given uh, plan if none of them is selected uh, then all the installed plugins will be available for your uh, customers for your clients so let's say i want in this uh, plan just to have the allergens and the let's say flutter wave payments and if i click save if user from that plan goes there he will only see those uh, those two plugins there in the restaurant management and yeah this was highly requested feature and with this small change you will get really like a really nice tool to to sell more uh, to, to to your clients to pay extra to you so that's been done uh next is better login as before you will need to go to login as as a restaurant and then you will need to log out and log in back as an admin now this is a lot easier let's go to Luca pizza and log in there login as and now i'm logged in as a Luca pizza oh, as before i see her dashboard everything that is there but I have this uh, button here back to your account. Now I'm the demo owner and I can see all my uh, orders and things like that as the restaurant will see. But with this simple button, I make, I'm able to click and I'm back. I'm logged in as an admin once again. So this will save you a lot of time. Discount prices. Let's see how that work. Yeah, let's log in as an admin right now. Lo let's log in as a restaurant. Login as. And if I go to my menu, this. If I log in as, a, I'm now logged in as an owner. If I go to the menu, let's put. Uh, discount price so this is the regular price the new price and before let's say it was 12.34 i can click save and if i go to the restaurant to the shop 
here you will see the discounted price. This change is done also in the default template and in uh, elegant template, which will release as an update. So here you see the the discounted price. Okay. Disable di disable dining in QR menu maker. So this was specific for QR menu maker. A lot of there were a lot of requests um, that the restaurant w was not accepting dining and they want to disable that and now there is a checkbox here that you can disable the dining okay restaurants okay a lot of you had reported that they want to change this url before it was not changeable now inside the admin account that can also be changed for example to shops or whatever you like there different whatsapp per delivery area this is specific for whatsapp but with the plugin i have installed i have the delivery areas here and now on each delivery area i can set a different phone number so this was also like a requested a lot so you can have be notified on different phones based on the delivery area selected or the branch and if there is no phone selected the, def the default phone for whatsapp of the restaurants will be used okay height register button if there is an option now inside the admin to disable to hide the register button on the login page if landing page is disabled so this was also highly requested this is specific for food tiger where there is registering an account um, now they should accept terms and services before submitting also in food tiger there is a, a language picker on the landing page before it was missing now we sent before we were sending push notifications via one uh, one signal but since we uh, simplified the mobile app now we're sending push notifications via expo and this update covers that and this is regarding the code change directly of the code uh, we did it this way for more simpler and more stable updates and now you can update to 3.2.0 without any problem i think will not happen that many problems and later on we will release the modules probably next week all the modules will be released since all of them are done and i will have a special video for each of these uh, modules but i will go one by one really briefly to explain what how it works so now we have a new model driver per vendor it's installable inside qr menu maker and whatsapp foot and with this you can see now i think i have them here i have the stuff and i have the drivers so i can add my own drivers here with this we are opening the functionality the driver up to work for qr menu maker but we will need to do some more testing i think will work all fine so that's one of the modules then we have the manager module which is pretty nice and here if i go to restaurants and if i go to apps i think manager you can enter your manager email so uh, a manager is registered by the admin so the admin creates the manager he receives uh, all the credential of his email and uh, one manager can have multiple restaurants or just single one and he has the option to clone that uh, that restaurant if uh, you have the clone module installed uh, this is really nice if you have restaurants with uh, multi branch and they serve different menus. Well, some is more expensive or more cheap, or 
completely different menu but you want a single manager to be in charge of the orders and managing the restaurant so after that he will be able to log in on in each of the restaurants like i'm now logged in as an admin and of course i will have a specific video for this module then we have a new tiny png and uh, this is a module that for image uploads and it's uh, the images will go to tiny png so we'll use this service to make the module the images smaller and with that there is an option to use uh, amazon web services or google uh, google cloud to store the images there so like a cdn and this will make the of course the website faster and it's easier to migrate to new to new hostings this way uh, this module uh, will be also usable a lot if you have combined food tiger cure menu maker and whatsapp since a link to the images is, is stored in the database and not a physical uh, path so for those that do have the um, uh, combine the projects you will get this module for free uh, then we have the MailChimp uh, module so uh, you can set up your MailChimp ID and password and I don't know the secret or just the ID or the list ID and you will build a user database when new uh, new restaurant new restaurant signs in uh, there is also a new module that was highly requested some stores some restaurants or stores want to be able to accept orders after the working time of the store this is also done and you have the option to i will log in now as an uh, i will log in as an admin once again and if i go to site settings in apps let's find that just a quick thing there here is the tiny png so you have the access token and pad for google cloud for amazon web secret and if you want to enable tin, tiny png let's find that what after uh, oh sorry this is per uh, per restaurant So that module is per restaurant. If I go to restaurant and then to apps, yeah, here it is. Order date and time. Enable order after working time of the store. Okay, and if the store is closed, you will see a daytime picker together with uh, time selection. You can show this time picker even if the store is open. So I think this is a one handy module. Now each of the vendors can switch the template. And this is a free module. Let's time switcher. So I can say I want elegant template for this for this restaurant. And uh, there was a lot of requests how you can put links here. So we have a new module there that uh, let me see the name. Uh, it's from the admin, of course. And you can define three links that appear here. Let's see that. So I'll go up some plugins, links, yep, link that appear in the sign menu of the vendor navigation. So you can say like support, uh, it will appear here like version and link to a name and link uh, URL. And you're able to put three of them and they will appear on the owner navigation. This was highly requested 
because some of you want to put uh, video documentations or link to some external page or things like that and of course this will be a free module we had made an update to the webhook module that listens to an event when there is a new user created so you can use the webhook module to for example to connect with uh, integromat now make.com or Z zapier and do whatever you like with this new information that you have a new user get notified or things like that and we fixed a lot of bugs and these are not all of them there are more but these are the most important one uh, and yeah i think we did a pretty much good update uh, with a lot of new possibility for new modules uh, we made the project a lot stronger with this verified install more robust on the installation process and we are getting the project better and better every day and yeah hope you like the new update all these modules that are paid modules for those that do have the uh, all access pass or extended license will get those modules for free and for those that don't have you can of course use the buy the all access pass or buy one mo module one by one and of course we always try to provide uh, good functionality of the project good modules and i'm happy how the this ecosystem grows we have like 3000 restaurant my direct clients and then i don't know the exact number of how many users after that are using the system but but the project grows and i'm really happy about it and yeah hope you have a easy update process you may want to if you have a bigger project take a backup or do a copy and then install the update to see if everything goes well or wait a few more days to see if uh, there are some problems and later update please check the uh, file log to see if some of the modules some of the files are, are overlapping with your custom changes and yeah i think that's all in the following days we will release all the modules that i mentioned and i will do my best to have a uh, separate videos per the most important modules and yeah See you soon. Bye-bye.